Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Publix brand Philly Cheesesteak Flatbread Pizza. It was $7.99. It is 23.25 ounces, 1 pound, 7.25 ounce, 659 grams. It does have a pull tab <laughs> <Didn't> that <laughs> did not go all the way across. That's okay. It, it was better than nothing. Look at those bright green peppers. Looks good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, remove the pizza from all packaging, place directly on the center rack, and then bake for 16 to 21 minutes. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave it all here. It's all stuck to it anyway. I'm not going to move around anything. We're going to bake it for the full 21 minutes, and then we'll be back. <laughs> Pizza. It says, when only a cheesesteak will do, savory beefsteak slices, roasted bell peppers, caramelized onions, and cheddar sauce for a sandwich-inspired slice. So, uh, thin sliced Philly beefsteak, thin tender strips of fully cooked and juicy Philly beefsteak, flatbread crust, golden brown light and crisp with a satisfying crunch, zesty creamy cheese sauce, rich creamy blend of cheeses for that authentic Philly taste. That's what it's highlighting on the back of the box. It says one fifth of the pizza, 133 grams is 290 calories. That is 1,450 calories for the entire pizza or 725 calories per half. That's not bad. And these are distributed out of Lakeland, Florida. Publix.com. Okay. I've got a piece of meat right mm -hmm. there. I do. I made Tammy wait a minute before we tried it because I knew it would be super hot. Mm -hmm. it's, it's comfortable now. You probably don't think it's hot enough now. Oh no, okay. no it's fine. That, um, that cheese sauce is very different than mm -hmm. I've had on a pizza before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's not, um, it's literally like a cheese sauce, not cheese. You know, because normally pizza, pizzas have like mozzarella or cheddar or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a runnier, like a, literally like a sauce. It reminds me of the jars that you get. Like down, a queso? Down the chip aisle. And, and you buy yeah, them. like queso. Yeah, that's that's what that reminds me of. It's mm -hmm. like they took, um, except this isn't white. Um, oh, that's white. But they, uh, it's like they took that and poured that cheese sauce over the top of it. I'm sure that's what they did. Mm. I like the peppers. I haven't really got a lot of onions on there. The meat has a nice flavor too. It's not like, there's not enough of it to really make much difference, honestly. That cheese sauce though, it, it reminds me too of like when you make Velveeta shells and cheese. It's that kind of cheese sauce. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like, like I could see that in macaroni and cheese. Almost like, uh, well, you said like a jar of cheese. That's, yes. That's kind of what it's like. Mm hmm In my opinion, it does not have enough meat on it. No, it needs a lot more meat. A lot. Because I've got like a piece here that's had one piece there and then these two little pieces and that's it. Mm -hmm. This one has quite a bit. There's a whole square right there in. with like just like crumbs. Yeah, I got like that's basically the same as this one. Um, I agree. The meat could be, a, there's a lot, could be, use a lot more meat. Truthfully, I think it'd use a little bit more onion too. It's mm -hmm. got plenty of peppers on it, but you don't really taste the onions that much. You don't. So some of you have told me, you don't want onion? Well, don't worry, you can't taste it. You, I mean, really, you can't. This is not a bad pizza, it's truly not. We've mm -hmm. had some that are just like eating a, a saltine cracker, yeah. you know, that are Real very stingers. plain. So this really does have a nice cheese flavor. I like that cheese sauce because it's different than mm -hmm. mozzarella or Parmesan or Romano or Asiago, it's different than that. It's a true cheese sauce, but that's all you taste. Yeah. I mean, really, I'm not even getting the bell pepper. I do occasionally. I get a little piece of bell pepper occasionally. 
Um, I agree with you. This is a little plainer than I was hoping it would be. Mm -hmm. um, when you do get the little pieces of steak, though, it has a nice flavor, and they're super tender pieces of steak. I mean, they're really, really tender. But um, there's not enough of it to really like add that experience all the time. So you're mostly just getting a, a cheese sauce and crust mm -hmm. for the most part. I do like that flavor. Yeah, it's really nice. But mm -hmm. you just don't I just haven't flavor. had enough of it to taste. I know, I know. So I don't think, I don't, I'm, I'm like you, I don't dislike it. It's just not one I would necessarily go out and buy no. again. No, so like if you had a party table and they had all these Publix pizzas, uh, this would not be one I would pick to put on my plate. You know, we well, we, I would have to try it, but since we've now but tried now it, that it's we've like, tried yeah. it, yeah, I know. Oh, that doesn't have enough flavor, so yeah. I'm not going to get that again. It's I not agree. that it's bad. I just know that we reviewed the bacon and caramel chicken, bacon and caramel onion. I would rather have With that the, one. It had a garlic sauce. On yes, it and it it was so much better. So it was just better overall flavors, mm -hmm. and it had a lot more going on than this one. So I, I would choose that. I one. do like the flatbread crust though; it's really nice. I do too. The crust is fine. It's just lacking in flavor yeah, overall. I agree. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.